Welcome to What I Eat in a Day from the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle. Today's recipes are all featuring bananas. So if you're interested to hear more of what I made from the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle, stay tuned. I started the night before by making one of the three banana wraps that you can find in Chris Kendall, the Banana Commander's big banana book that is part of the bundle. So I got those in the dehydrator and I also froze some red cabbage for the banana curry that you can also find in his book. I was excited to put that in the wraps. The next day I checked on the wraps and they were doing very well in the morning. I wanted to leave them in a little longer just to give them a little bit extra time. And while they were still hydrating, I made the Sun Burgers from Miriam's ebook, Every Day Raw. These were really great burgers. I used an ice cream scoop to portion out four burgers onto the tray. And I did this early in the morning, first thing, because I wanted them to be ready for dinner. I wanted to use one of the burger patties for dinner's recipe, which you'll see soon. And the other three, I just crumbled in salads and used as burgers in the lettuce burger too. So I did use these for other recipes, but I did want to try one on the secret recipe that we had for dinner. So I got those in while I made, yes, 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 I made the pizza crust from Daniel McKinnon's ebook, Edible Art which you can also get as part of the ultimate raw vegan bundle. I formed it into a beautiful pizza crust. And now you might be wondering, how is banana featured in a pizza? Well, this pizza crust has a very unique ingredient, dried banana flour. It's a dried fruit flour that is wonderful for the gut microbiome with its resistant starch and it works beautifully in creating pizza crust. So I got that in the dehydrator early on and went for my walk. I try every day to go for at least a 45 minute walk, if not longer, trying to get around 10,000 steps a day. I also drink about two and a half liters of water on this walk. This is what I've been doing recently. When I got back, I needed my smoothie, so, I dug into Chris Kendall's book again and made the banana grape treat smoothie. This is so delicious. Definitely one of my favorites. I had it multiple times during the bundle because it is so delicious. I use a variety of different grapes, but you could use any grapes you like. Then for lunch, I thawed out the red cabbage that I chopped and froze the night before and chopped up some of the ingredients for lunch wraps. These are, again, from Chris Kendall's Big Banana Book, his banana curry. I really wanted to try this because I have never had a savory banana recipe before, so I was very, very, very intrigued by his recipes. So using a fork, that's how I like to do the carrots. And whatever pieces are left over, I just eat them. <laughs> I blended up the curry sauce and it's really unique and really good. I was quite surprised because you don't think bananas and curry, but mm, it was so good. I mixed it up and added the purple cabbage as well. And this was a little bit watery for the wrap, but I went with it anyways. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a messy one. and I didn't want to use the entire amount of the curry in my wrap because we only have so much space. So I did have the rest of it as a side salad. So I wrapped up that wrap. And yes, like I said, it was messy, but it is what it is. I don't mind messy food. So <laughs> here it is, the inside of the wrap. They were quite filling and delicious. Here they are ready for a photo. And as you can see, I did have the remaining of the curry as my little side salad. This was a very, like I said, very, 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 very filling recipe. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. It was super unique and I loved the wrap, it was very spicy, but not super spicy. It was just spicy enough and it kept me wanting to eat more. So Chris, 
you're awesome. This was such a delicious meal and I will definitely be making this again in the future. Then about an hour before dinner, I took the burger patties out of the dehydrator and the pizza crust. I was so excited for this one. I haven't had a pizza in quite a while, so I made a tomato sauce for it and started chopping up my peppers and mushrooms, red onions, and of course, pineapple. I'm one of those who likes pineapple on my pizza. <laughs> you could put anything you want on it. So I spread the tomato sauce onto my pizza. And then I added the cheese. Again, this is Daniel's recipe from Edible Art. This is an ebook that you get as part of the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle. So if you want these recipes, please go to the link in the description box below and grab the bundle before it's over because you will not be able to get this collection of ebooks ever again for $50. It's worth over $840 worth of brand new content. So go check it out. I cut the pizza with the kitchen scissors and you could use a pizza cutter if you wanted to, but I find the scissors to work just really nicely. And because I did this an hour before dinner, I wanted to put the pizza back into the dehydrator to give it a little extra time to kind of warm up and have the toppings look just super delicious. So here's the pizza. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I do hope you go and grab the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle this year. Next year it'll be totally different. So if you like this collection and if you want all the ebooks that are in there, click the link in the description box below and head on over to the website to see all the goodies you get. This pizza was so good. Thank you to all the contributors and thank you to you for watching again. Until next time, fruit on.